going insane. Is it me, or is it this game? No, seriously though, who put you in here? Was it that thing? But why? This clearly was not meant for you. So there's a lizard... That scared me. There's a lizard... body... somewhere. I will hold out hope for meeting the lizard men. You will not deter me with your elder thing bullshit. <laughs> I hope I can't open this, but let's try. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't look like you can open it. Good. Anything with a giant elder sign on it probably shouldn't be opened. <sighs> What's this? Uh oh. What did I do just now? I didn't move the thing, did I? No. Okay, good. Oh, hello. Oh, these are where those things go. Alright, well, there's only five of them, but I need context for that. Like, there's only so many combinations five things can... can make, but... I feel like I would need a hint or a something. Is that moving? I can hear something. Something is moving. There's got to be a hint or a something somewhere. Five pieces of stone with five glyphs on them. Okay, so... There's got to be something somewhere to tell me. Or will they only go into certain... I don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay. Just guessed, so we're gonna turn it now. No. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I missed something. Maybe out here in the middle? the sarcophagus was. Do we follow the floodlights? Or is it... Ah. Oh. <sighs> Hello? Nobody's home. Hello? They're not here. Hello? Given their, I'm 
seeing spooky vision. What is it? Ah! The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. It's a Stargate! Okay, so am I gonna write this down or... Ah, you copied down the glyphs, good. Good, yeah, that's what we needed. I've seen a vision near the rock tablet in a place that looks somewhat like an ancient burial ground. There was a diagram consisting of several glyphs carved into the rock's polished surface. One glyph in particular was copied, was mentioned by the silhouette that appeared in the vision. I've copied down the diagram and marked that glyph. Interesting. That goes over here, no doubt. So let's plonk the things in and see what happens. If I don't wedge myself between some rocks. Okay, so I was right on top of it. I just missed it. Sure are a lot of... Okay, though. What is that? It's an elder sign. An ornamental metallic object with an elder sign. A sign used for protection from powerful entities carved on one of its faces. might want to wear that. Oh, it's a trophy item. Okay, yeah. There's nobody in any of these sarcophagi. Seems like an awful lot of trouble. Unless they're, like, symbolic or something. They might be symbolic instead of, like, literal. Okay. So let's go back across, if I can figure out how to get back across. Um, ah, follow the hoops. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm betting we gotta do this. Okay, so we need the the journal. Where's is it J for journal? Yeah, there it is. Okay, drawings. Okay, uh floop de floop and tuxedo. Let's try that. Okay. Rest shirt and sunshine. And whatever it is about this one that's so special. Okay, so that should be our Stargate address. Let's see what it does. Not do anything? Uh, it's stuck. Oh, it did something. What did it do, though? Oh, was that the lock? And I just need to stand here now? Okay. There we go. This is probably a bad idea, but three quarters of the shit we're doing here is a bad idea, so. <laughs> How much worse can it get? Okay. Hello, lizard people. I come in peace on behalf of the Mistatonic Archaeological Society of Antarctica. We were here too. There's... If we've already explored this place, how did that get shut again? Somebody took the things out and... 
the hell kind of lighting is this? Uh, somebody took the things out and relocked it after they were in here. I saw that. After we were in here. Oh, oh god, that's just me. Hey, you handsome devil. Is there going to be somebody behind me? My third eye is opening. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. Sure seems like it, since my lips don't move when I'm talking. <laughs> okay, so... It wasn't a Stargate, but what is it? Where does it go? Radio? Hello? Frank, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yes, I can hear you. Finally. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust. Is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen. I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering. But you must be knowing. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. Use one of the submarines? Do you hear me? Hello? Come on, please. Where are you? Uh, Damn it! The connection is lost. Stupid walkie-talkies. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? This must be the base camp they were talking about. Uh. Yeah, they were set up in here. Oof. Elder thing. Note. It is possible to assume that due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't exactly know. We don't know exactly where this is the case. Whether this is the case. That theory somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with that cryptic stone wall that welcomes you when entering via the round gate. As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating the true motives of the carvers of those inconceivably old caverns. All I am sure of is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal man has hitherto perceived. Note. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This is what the main topic of debate at last night's meeting was. And what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather-bound book that was too... Cited from a dark leather-bound book was too frightening, at least for the ones who could understand the underlying links, the megalithic statues, ornate standing stones, and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think of that place. This place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days, but now it lies in ruins bare and without any sign of underwater fauna or flora. Oh, you're just collecting these now. Okay. <laughs> uh, we finished tweaking the submarines because we have those, one last time, and again, they are ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time, we will also mark the way with light sources to make sure it's easier for the later expeditions. A short 
In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party led by Dr. James Barlow will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance of the legendary Netherworld. But again, I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. After all, I've experienced, read, and studied here after all those sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies beyond, and how to reach a certain state to see without more eyes. Even though I cannot help but think the journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we have to go through it all in search of answers. Dr. Blake. Oh boy. You guys don't know when to give up, do you? Submarine here. Underwater lake. Look at that. We're not too far underground. Wow, okay. It's just under the surface. Oh, there is. There is a submarine here. Which one do I want? I'll take this one. Would you like to get on the submarine? No. <laughs> no, I would not. But here we go. Apparently, I can pilot a submarine. Here we go. Still no word on what I'm going to do with this glove. Alright, down we go. And this is the 1950s, so this thing is going to be tiny. Loading! Loading! 